Hi, I'm Florence. Hi, I'm Ben. Hi, I'm Terry, and we are going to present you the Maglev technology in Shanghai. So Shanghai Maglev Train is owned by a private company called SMT, Shanghai Maglev Train. On the left you can see how the train looks like um, when it runs. And on the right you can see the inside of the train with the economic and the first class. The construction of the train started in 2001 in March and um, the train started operating in January 2004. The train has a capacity of 574 passengers and uh, since its, uh, its operation the train has covered 1 million kilometers and carried 1.5 million passengers. Nowadays there are six maglev trains in the world. Two of them are uh, in South Korea. Three of them, uh, including the maglev uh, Shanghai train, are in China and one of them are in Japan. The particularity of our train, the maglev Shanghai train, <coughs> is that it can reach a speed of 431 km per hour compared to the others, uh, uh, which can only reach 110 km per hour. As you can see on the map, the train connects uh, the Penang International Airport to the outskirts over there. The um, train is composed of two different tracks. Each track uh, has a length of 30.5 km. So this is the timetable of the train. The train runs from around 7 in the morning to 10 in the night with two different headways, 15 and 20 minutes, and two different traveling time. Uh, the fastest, seven minutes, and the longest, around eight minutes. The train runs 115 uh, daily trips, and as you can see on the right, this is the price for the tickets. The prices are in yuan, which are approximately the same in Danish crowns. So the reason the Shanghai Maglev can be the world's fastest train is that it's not a traditional rail. It doesn't operate on rails. Instead, it works as like a, uh, magnet system floating on top of a guideway and this is called floats on a system called an electromagnetic suspension and uh, essentially there's two large magnets that attract each other and kind of keep the train floating even at um, when it's not moving at all and this provides no friction which is why the train can go so fast. The train is actually propulsed by a linear motor it's called a linear synchronous motor um, it's basically just a normal car motor like a rotary motor but it's unrolled so it only goes forward uh, Essentially, how it works in the Shanghai system is A, or the uh, rotor itself, is the, would be the train, and then B is the guideway, so an operator would send an uh, electromagnetic impulse across this guideway, and then the train, uh, because it also has a large magnet in it, is kind of attracted to this. They both have their own magnetic fields, and they kind of just ride along with the, with the guideway. Um, this is why the Shanghai maglev is so much faster than other maglevs, because they don't have mag just giant magnets on A. Um, as opposed to they just like get kind of brought along by uh, the system, but it's like not as fast and there's a lot more drag. Yeah, so uh, the Shanghai Ma Maglev is a pretty small system, of course, it only has two stations, so this is its entire track diagram, it's pretty simple. Um, there's two trains and they kind of just, they used to run in a, like a loop system where they go across these switches all the time, but then in 2006 the Shanghai Maglev company was like, why are we even doing this? We only have two trains, so they just kind of operate on uh, independent lines now. These switches are only used to put the trains back in the depot at the end of the day. Now I'll talk about the pros and cons about Shanghai Maglev train. The most important attraction of this train is of course its high speed. The train runs 100 km per hour faster than normal high speed rail. The second most important benefit is its environmental impact. Maglev train has very low carbon emission and very high energy efficiency. The third important uh, benefit is its safety. It's very unlikely for this train to derail. And the fourth benefit is its long longevity because there's no contact between the train and the rail, so it's, the trains usually have very long lifespan. And the last um, benefit is its uh, noise pollution because the train runs on, with no friction, so it is very it has the potential to run at night without disturbing the neighborhood. But the cons of this project is its high cost. Um, Shanghai Maglev train has a loss of 1 billion, uh, 1 billion yuan after two years of operation. And the second uh, con is um, its low user market because of high price. Maglev is a promising technology for the future. It has the potential to be a faster, cheaper, greener, and safer means of technology. It can apply from intercity transportation to cross-country trips. While it, is, it may still take a long time for this technology to be prevalent, um, uh, the potential, uh, the advantages of this technology is hard to be ignored. Now there are six lines of maglev running in the world. 
um, and, and Japan has already successfully tested its high-speed maglev train as well. How will this technology develop in the future? Only time will tell. Whoa.